HIPAA is all about exchanging. It's that a company, one company is protecting another company's patient information so that you are only exchanging information that is going to help the patient get access to services or resources. Um, and so if your organization is following HIPAA and you have a HIPAA business agreement with another organization, it should not be an issue. Um, I would definitely figure out who, you, who is their corporate compliance officer at that facility, at that site facility, and figure out what they're doing to work with home health or hospices that they refer to. Because something there doesn't just sit right with me. So I think that it's probably a question that needs to be asked. And again, I would find out, you could call the um, hospital's administrative assistant. They usually will, you know, if you're dialing the number for the administrator, you're gonna get the secretary. The secretary will know who the corporate compliance officer is and then find out what from the corporate compliance officer via email or a phone call and ask them, you know, hey, share with me uh, what, it, what do we have to do to work together to get patients referred that need to have supportive services at home um, and share with them the challenge that you've been given about, you know, HIPAA and uh, see if there's a way that you can walk through it without stirring the pot, right? So I think the question was home health and in-home care. We, uh, we from, a, from asking for a patient's name from a referral source, we get it all the time. It's covered under HIPAA once, once a referral is made. I appreciate that you may be in a different situation, but we have plenty of in-home care and uh, home health who are able to gain access to names. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Well, good job, guys. Yep. Seems like that's a way that they're saying no. <laughs> Maybe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And not necessarily telling you 100% of the truth. Perhaps. So, I don't awesome. know. Find yeah. out.